Okay, Leather Rock here. Welcome to my channel. Do you like my set? Do you like my makeup? I am filming this live, well, live to me, from Resorts International Hotel Casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and I just did a real groovy makeup tutorial for you, and it is using the incredible Take Me Back to Brazil Rio uh, edition from b &H Cosmetics. And there's no lipstick because I'm going to be wearing a face mask because I'm social distancing and I'm in a casino. So if you want to see how I did it, stay tuned. I already have my foundation on and my eyebrows. My foundation is by The Ordinary. It is their serum foundation. And I actually used a primer this time. I never use primers, but I decided just for the heck of it, since I'm in a real fancy hotel room and it's so nice to get away. And do you like my beads? Well, here I put some of this and since I wipe my nose a couple of times, I'm gonna put a little bit back on here that most people aren't gonna really get to see anyway because of course I'm gonna be wearing a face mask. And I'm just going to get a little bit more of this. My mother told me that the rooms here would be very well lit, at least in the bathrooms, and she did not lie. This place is amazing to do makeup tutorials. I'm gonna give you a look at the room. This is just the bathroom, okay? I mean, this is just really incredible. So I'm going to be experimenting to see just where the light seems to be the absolute best. I'm going to prep my eyelids with this e.l.f. liner and liner sealer and eye primer. Just going to sweep it over the eyeballs and underneath or over the lid, you know, not the eyeballs. That would be stupid. What you're about to see, I did not plan ahead. However, I'm going to show you the assortment of makeup I brought with me for this weekend. I just put the beads in my hair this morning so that at least they would go with my first clothing change. But you will probably see a series of videos with different colored beads and... Uh, but let's get started with the makeup. I am going to grab this palette here that I love so much. This is the Rio edition, Take Me Back to Brazil by b &H Cosmetics. If you love rainbows, this is your palette. This is just, this is a much better version than their original Take Me Back to Brazil because the original Take Me Back to Brazil was almost all mattes. And these are shimmery, delightful, exciting colors. And I chose this palette because I was trying to go for as close to an ex exact color match as possible. But I also like that they have some highlighters, so I don't need to bring a separate highlighter palette when I'm traveling. And I have taken their original Take Me Back to Brazil to Pride events. And uh, it's great for uh, your rainbow, but if you want, and this also makes a good brow bone color too. I'm going to hit that with a b &H Cosmetics Studio Pro number no. five. And you know what? Let's get back here where the light might be even better. I'm going to get the brow bone and it's kind of heavy. And I'm going to, going to go on to the other side. This, sometimes you can take your chance using a big thick brush like this to do your brow bone color, but it really is good if you want to keep the other colors from taking over. And let's see how good the light is. You know what? I'm going to check in 
my mirror too. This is a really great bathroom. I'm telling you, almost makes you want to move in. But this is why those prosperous homeowners, like especially the uh, movie stars and the rock stars, etc., the athletes, get these big walk-in closets and even the acoustics in this room, the echo. Imagine if you were a politician and you were practicing your lines and stuff. You know what? I think I should uh, reinforce my eyebrow color too. It seems like it was smearing a little bit. But I don't have the... Uh, oh yes, I do have the brush with me. Great. For my eyebrows, I actually use the dark lipstick. This is the lipstick I use. And I'm using, this is a wet and wild. There's either the small or the large crease brush. And you also double as eyeliner brushes. They're very, very efficient in that regard. I love brushes that can be used for more than one purpose. And now, I, as you can maybe see, I'm balancing my hand. Here, can you see how I'm doing? I'm balancing my, so that I can, I hate it when my eyebrows don't match. I think with all the mask wearing that we should be doing now, having well done eyebrows is more important than ever. Oh, okay. Now, I'm going to have some fun blending some more colors in this delightful, exciting, colorful palette. There is a color here. None of these colors are named, but you know what? I don't want it to take over. So you know what? Maybe I'm not going to go there. I'm going to also use this Blue Moon palette because I don't want the colors to go too blue. So uh, I'm going to take a chance here. I'm going to take this pale blue color here from the blue moon, moon palette called Moonlight. And I'm going to take an Avon two-sided brush. It has an eyeliner on one side brush and a regular brush. I'm going to sweep some of this Moonlight. Now while I want, to, I want you to see the mirror that I'm using while I'm, you're watching me from here, I'm going to be looking in at this mirror here, because this seems like a really good mirror. I'm going to go right upper crease, and then I'm going to go back into that color. Uh, let me see if I can, if you can see what I'm doing here. I'm actually balancing the computer on an ice bucket right now. Okay, so this is loaded. Now I'm going to get my upper crease. I think by using this pale blue, this will keep the next colors from looking too green. You know what? I'm going to go back into this palette with this blue. Oh, have you noticed that, yes, I am wearing... A Christmas pin. This jacket, I thought I was going to have reason to wear it a couple of weeks ago, so then it would have been more holiday appropriate. And since this seems to be tail end of the Christmas holidays, I figured what harm can it be? And I'm, I'm not wearing this as a jacket. I'm wearing this as a blazer. It's like a suit blazer. I'm going over the other eye again. And you notice I've left the lid blank because that we really want the uh, colors to grab. All right, I am going to get a oh, this brush will work. I thought it was really a smart move on my part. I left the house today wearing only my eyebrows and foundation.
so that I could hit the ground running and do this makeup tutorial as soon as I got to my destination. Okay, this is a B&H Cosmetics Studio Pro 17. And I am going to go back into the Take Me Back to Brazil Rio version. And there's this really great kind of teal kind of, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to touch it. No, I'm going to touch it to this greener version of teal. And I'm not going to put too much on this brush. I'm going to tap off the excess. And I'm going to still not get too close to all the bottom of the, or, or all of the lid. You see where I only, I still left some of the lid unexposed to eyeshadow. I'm going to do this again. This again is this color. And Then I'm going to break one of my own rules, something I normally never, ever, ever do. First, I'm going to shake off the excess powder on here. Then I'm going to clean this brush off on my hand. Then I'm going to dip into the color right underneath it a little bit, shake off the excess. Then I'm going to go right over that color that I just put on there. I want to give an even mix of green and blue. I normally do not use two different eyeshadow colors on a brush. That's normally not something I do. It is time now for something really, really, really pale in the green department. And there is a very pale lime green here. Oh, delightful color. And I'm going to use a Vivace brush. It's really great for, especially for doing underlining stuff. This is like, almost like a metallic lime color. And I'm going to cover the eyelid that is exposed. I mean, that does not have any eyeshadow on it. I'm going to repeat that on the other eye. And then, of course, I'm going to have to do that again, because you can hardly see it. And if you can hardly see eyeshadow when you've applied it, that probably means you need to do it again. The great thing about putting these colors on like this, they naturally give you a blended look. I was right. I'm going to have to repeat that. I really love the assortment of colors in this palette. This is one of my major go-to palettes, except for there are times when I would prefer having a smaller palette. And you've seen some of my other smaller palettes, but they don't seem to be true rainbows. With these, you really can get an absolute true rainbow. And there are times when you might need a true rainbow. And you know, one of the great things about working with rainbows is if you're using all those seven main colors, six or seven, depending on what rainbow means to you, then you can have accessories to go with everything. Imagine working with those seven basic colors and then you could just throw together your things. Okay, I need some more green. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a big, I'm going to get another brush. Uh, I hope I have, yeah. I'm going to get another big fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into this teal kind of color. I'm going to get a good lot amount on. And where my eyes seem to be looking too blue, I'm going to take care of that problem right now. I'm going to focus the crease. Yeah, much better. I'm going to do that again. And this was 
probably the same fluffy brush that I use for my eyebrow color. I only brought so many brushes with me and I still felt that like I, I was bringing too much stuff. Okay, let's get back. Let's get in the bathroom and see what the light's like in here. Oh, isn't that nice? Okay, now. Now that I think about it, there's a green eyeliner that I really wish I brought. But I brought some other eyeliners. I think I'm going to stick to basic black eyeliner. And for this, I have the Yankina 36H. This is a truly waterproof eyeliner. Since I'm in a fancy hotel casino, going where the weekend takes me, the last thing I want is runny eyeliner. So I'm going to very carefully put this, you know what, maybe you can, you want to watch me put it in, put it on looking at this mirror here. I just don't want this computer to fall down. I'm sure it will break. Okay. Other eye. Uh, one thing I always hate is the skin here always skips, and so it's going to end up being thicker, much thicker wing than I planned. And I'm doing the lower. And I am going to top it off with this mascara, Yankino, one second, one volume, one second, one second volume. And I'm going to hold this up while I look in the mirror. This doesn't take any time at all to tell that I have some color and some length on my lashes. And you know what? I could spend twice as much time and I can get them even bigger. But I'm really kind of trying to do this fairly quickly. I think I need to thicken up the eyeliner on the left side. So I will do that and I'll put this here. I hope you can see okay. I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of highlighter to my cheeks. And I'm going to stick with this palette. I'm going to use this big fluffy brush. And I'm going to use the pinker version of... I'm just going to go like this. And uh, you know what? I'm not going to bother with uh, lip color right now. It kind of doesn't make sense. 
I'm probably going to be getting something to eat in a few minutes. And, uh, you know, you can't go any places in the casino or any public places without wearing a mask. And of all the masks I brought with me, my N95 seems to fit, go with this outfit the best. So what do you think? Do you like this? I'm going to give you another look in the... This is my makeup. Now, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like me and my content, I'd love to have you subscribe. I'd like to take you along with me on my adventures. Live from Resorts International Hotel Casino in Atlantic City, I'm Leather Rock. Talk to you soon. Bye.